Hi everybody, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. Today we're doing our empties for July. Um, like I said in my last video, my makeup haul video, I am filming this a little bit early because baby is due at the end of July, early August, and so I want to film a few ahead of time. So it is the middle of July, but I still have some empties, so I'm excited to show you what I've used. Um, I don't think I've talked about any of these products, like at all, so, well, okay, I've talked about one, but not like in a project pan, like none of these are actually in project pants, which is kind of interesting, which means I need to step it up on my project pants. <laughs> but this is the one I have talked about, my Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes. Y'all, I don't care that they're bad for your skin. I do, <laughs> it just helps me remember to take my makeup off at night. Um, my favorite is the Night Calming one. Um, it does a good job of getting 90% of my makeup off. I do follow up with my cellar water and that is good enough for me. So I will never be without these, love them. We'll continue using them. And then this one was a surprise. This is the e.l.f. Glitter in 24 karat gold. This was in a super old project pan and you can see that I, it's half gone. But when I pulled the stopper, it kind of dried out. So I'm calling this an empty, even though technically there is product in there, but it's not gonna go on the lids anymore. <laughs> but it's more than half gone, so it's an empty to me, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw that away. Um, you just don't need it, you know? Um, this was a nice surprise. This is Charlotte Tilbury. This came out of my mystery box last year. Um, I did not buy the mystery box this year, if you saw my haul video. I did not buy the mystery box this year because I didn't feel like I've used enough from last year's mystery box. And last year's mystery box was like really good. And I feel like this mystery box was kind of like, okay. Mm it wasn't as good. I saw like the sneak peek of the lipstick. I wasn't super excited about that. And then I saw that when, the, like I saw the sneak peek of everything that was gonna be in the box and I was kind of like, okay, mm it's not worth it. But I do like this product. This is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. No, this is just a travel size. This is just a little one. It's a 1.1 fluid ounce. But I really enjoyed this. I did think it did a good job with my makeup, keeping it lasting all day long. I didn't see any extra blurring. I don't really see blurring when it comes to these types of products um, as setting sprays, but I thought this one was nice. If I get in another mystery box, I will totally use it because I thought it was that good. But I won't go to my repurse set. I have a lot of setting sprays at the moment, so I don't really feel the need to pick up anything like that. And then for my mama life, I do have a belly cream. <laughs> this one was gifted to me by my friend. This is Summer Friday's Baby Moon Belly Balm. And this kind of felt like Vaseline. <laughs> it's not my favorite texture um, and it did not stop all my stretch marks. I do have stretch marks um, that I did not have before getting pregnant. <laughs> but um, it does stop the itching, which is great. And it feels really good when it goes on, but it's just not my favorite texture. It's definitely like a slick Vaseline. And I think when I think of balm, I think of something a little bit thicker and or I would prefer more of like a cream lotion. It's just a personal preference. I'm not a big fan of like jellies um, either. And I feel like this is like almost a jelly, but um, I also did not use it correctly, by the way, in case you're wondering. I might have gotten stretch marks because you're supposed to use this twice a day. I did not. <laughs> Um, but it is gone and I did use it up and would I, re would I recommend it to other people? I don't know. Just me, probably not because I wasn't like, you know, it's a 6 out of 10 for me. It was fine, but I didn't love it because the texture. It was texture, not a smell issue. There was like no scent to that. Um, I also finished up another lotion. Aveda has some of my favorite smelling lotions. Whether or not they moisturize is something different, but this is the Rosemary Mint Body Lotion. I just something about this scent that makes it feel so so nice it's super lightweight it's not super thick it's great for summer um, but I just love the smell of this one I also like the stress fix Aveda lotion if this is a $30 lotion for 6.7 fluid ounces I find that expensive for a lotion but I do really like it and I'll probably be repurchasing this one at some point probably <laughs> And that, my friends, is the total of my empties, so let's go through it. This is the total for the month, and then this is the total year to date. This is what I've spent, so what I've actually 
you know, spent money on. And so hopefully I have spent less than I have empties. I think I'm pretty good, especially with that Aveda lotion in here. So here's the difference right here. Is it negative? I'm hoping it is. Negative means that I'm on the right side of things. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Happy panning, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!